This is Bongo Cat, and as you can see, he's a cute little overlay for your streams and content that shows off your mouse movements and keyboard inputs and stuff, so your chat and audience can see how you're playing. However, I recently made a video on TikTok about how to install this plugin, and then realized halfway through doing that, how convoluted and confusing it is to set this thing up. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Bongo Cat properly in the latest version of OBS. So to install this plugin, you want to come to Google and then search for Feet Picks. I mean, Bongo Cat OBS plugin. Obviously, once you've searched for it, we'll go to the OBS project link here and then download the plugin from this page, which should be this download link here. After downloading this file, you then want to extract it into where all your other OBS files are. So for me, that's going to be in my C drive into program files and then scroll down until I find... OBS Studio and then extract it in here. This next section is the part that's kind of confusing and convoluted because in the past you would have been done already and it would have worked, but in the latest version of OBS, you have to extract these files from the folder and place them in other folders in the OBS Studio. So I'll try to go as slow as possible to make it make sense. So as you can see, we've currently got the Bango Cat folder inside the OBS Studio directory. And inside the Bango Cat folder, we have bin data and obs plugins folders but we want to move these ones into the bin data and obs plugin folders of obs studio so to do that we want to go into bango cat go to bin we're going to do bin first and then go to 64 bit and then find this bango cat and then copy that once you've copied that you want to go back to obs studio go into bin 64 bit and then paste it in here i've already done mine here but that should be at least been done. Then you want to come back to the OBS Studio directory and then find Bango Cat again. This time we're going to do data. So go into data, find OBS plugins, and then find Bongobs Cat. Copy that one, and then obviously we're going to paste that into data instead. And then last but definitely not least, we're going to do the OBS plugins. So Bango Cat, OBS plugins, 64 bit, and then find Bongobs. Copy that, and then go back to OBS Studio, OBS Plugins, 64-bit, and then paste it in here. Hopefully you managed to follow along though, because when I first downloaded this stuff and tried to do it by myself, I didn't know what files were meant to go into what folders, and it just didn't work for a while. But if you manage to actually sort all this stuff out, the next time you open OBS, you'll be able to go to your sources, press plus, and then add Bongo's Cat to your scene. From here, you'll be able to customize the plugin anywhere you want by changing the position, the size, whatever, or going into your properties here, and then changing the modes from like standard to keyboard to mania or whatever as well as a bunch of other settings in here anyway i'll leave all those specific customization details for you to figure out but hopefully this tutorial was kind of useful for you because when i tried to figure this information out i either couldn't find it or it was out of date or just very confusing and difficult to understand if it was useful though bongo slap that like button down below and i will see you in the next one